So today in Galapagos we went to Santa Cruz Island. It was the very first place we actually found we could find some souvenirs, some a bit more touristy places. It seems a lot like um, one of the Caribbean islands that you might go to, like um, Dominica Republic or somewhere like that. The very first place we went here was the Charles Darwin Centre. This was a research centre for all the tortoises and it was actually a breeding ground for all the tortoises. There were the large giant tortoises, the little tiny ones. It was really quite amazing seeing all these tortoises up close and personal. While we were at the Charles Darwin Centre we got told the story about Lonesome George. He was basically a tortoise that was the last of his breed. So what they did was they tried sending out a reward to find a female of his species. Unfortunately they couldn't find one and he died in 2012 so it was quite a sad story. But they have a memorial inside the research centre for Lonesome George. And after the Charles Darwin Centre we went for a walk. Along this walk we found a fish market which was selling lots of different types of fish and lots of different colours. And there were lots of pelicans and sea lions that were like um, around this fish market. This is because the fish market's right by the sea and right by the pontoon. Um, actually, if you ever watched um, My Family with, in Galapagos with, on Channel 4, this was actually shown on that programme with all the different colours and different types of fish that they sell, all the different crabs, the lobsters, all the different breeds of fish that they sell right by the pontoon. We then took a coach and went to go plant some scalicia and we also went to go for lunch. When we were at our lunch we got um, some music and some dancing from some local performers. It was really quite a sight because there were lots of different colours and there was lots of different movements and it was very very interesting to experience the culture. From having lunch we went to go see some more tortoises but actually in the wild and this was um, amazing, they were everywhere. It was literally like you've been taken to Jurassic Park but if it was Tortoise Park. There were, they were in the lakes, they were in the bogs, they were in the grasses, they were in the bushes. As soon as you uh, walk out you could see a tortoise right by your feet. The best way to go to Galapagos is by cruise. Not one island is the same. One landscape will be like the Adriatic Islands in Greece. One landscape will look like you're in Mexico. The next terrain will look like you're in the Caribbean. Um, and also all the animals in each island, they might be similar, but they're very, very different. There'll be different shapes, there'll be different sizes, um, there'll be different birds, there'll be... F everything is very, very different. If you're ever looking for an adventure of a lifetime, I can't urge you more to come to Galapagos Islands by cruise ship because these um, guides that, and experts that are on these ships will take you to the best places and you'll see the best things. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications and if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.